Okay. So we're in Gunji Park, I guess, in Davenport, testing out a couple of uh, Harbor Freight cheapy Chinese uh, metal detectors. And I thought that I would take this time to show you why I like to come to parking lots, uh, particularly in parks. Ordinarily, I would do this uh, in the winter time. Uh, after they plow for snow or the springtime. Because uh, you can find a lot in the junk right along right along this area here and along those uh, uh, parking spots there. Uh, I don't expect to find anything here, but I thought I'd practice. Uh, oh, look at it, there's a penny right there. See, I got the discrimination. Set. We're going to go ahead and set the discrimination on this a little bit because uh, I want to definitely want to get the pennies. So, and let's go about three inches above and we'll turn the discrimination down until we uh, get a good signal. And that might get, be getting us some. You see, I can hear a little hum there. Here's another penny actually. Okay, so that's what a penny's going to sound like. I can pick it up with my gloves. All right, I wanted to come over here because there's a bottle cap laying out somewhere along in here. Of course, I can't find it now, but it's okay. That foil's not causing me any problem. All right, let's see if we can find this penny again. I forgot where I was at. It's right here. It's pretty shiny. Boy, I'm just, I'm running right over it too. All right. And yeah, we're gonna have to keep it pretty hot. Can't say I like that background noise much. Okay, not really caring for this setup here. Oh, my gloves aren't touch gloves either. There we go. I like to see where I'm pointing the camera. Yeah, so this is not going to be a great metal detector as it turns out. I don't have it set up quite right. I guess we're just going to have to put up with the with the noise. All right, that I can settle. I'll settle for that. Metal detecting is a lot better and easier if you use headphones. And these have headphone jacks, but they're mini jacks. <clears throat> I didn't bring a mini adapter for my good headphones, so we're not going to use them here. All right. So bearing in mind that we're only going to find stuff on the surface, but when I'm usually searching this area, it's, everything's on the surface anyway, like in these piles of leaves, for example. And uh, something there. And this uh, coil is, is sealed. And so you can just run it on the ground. And then there's something, something in here. And sometimes when you're bouncing it, it'll fall. There might be a penny there. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. That's uh, another trouble with cheap detectors is you dig more trash and you leave more treasure. But they're great to learn with, especially your 
sweeping technique. Something in here. Just turn the volume all the way up. And I'm going to go ahead and So that would be the mode with this when you tolerate the uh, constant noise, but it'll it'll do some weird synthesizer stuff when we hit something good like that. We're just going around the periphery right now looking for obvious stuff. And I'm going kind of fast. These cheapy detectors, uh, it doesn't really matter how fast you go. You can't, if you go too fast, you're going to miss everything. But with my Fisher F75, anything above a medium speed, you just get confused. It just hits so many targets, it just sounds like cacophony. But that's the trick in metal detecting, is learning what the good sounds are in the midst of all that chattering and warbling they do. <clears throat> Beginning to think that uh, some other people with metal detectors have been in this park. Ordinarily, I just finished up in a playground on the other side of the parking lot. And I can almost always find at least three stinking Lincolns at the bottom of every slide, but either these kids have Velcro pockets or somebody, somebody got my Lincolns. And then again, I'd like to make another pass here with the other Harbor Freight detector. I don't think I'll find anything though. <clears throat> it has a little bit finer controls on it too. And uh, three more modes than this one. Claim is this one has six modes. I don't see any mode switches. So I assume that that depends on the discriminator setting. And plus this park is it's not in the middle of nowhere, but there are several other much nicer parks just a few blocks away. Now, I know there have been metal detectors in those parks because you go where the people go. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to call this a bust, I think. Again, it would probably be better in April than it is in October. I bought my first bounty hunter at Hobby Lobby. I uh, found quite a bit of change in parks just like this one. Somebody likes his BMW. It's a red one too. The guy's just asking for a ticket. All right, I'm not going to look at these places. Might go over here in the slow spot. Uh, not really interested in dipping these in water. Might take my F75 and do that before I leave. But. I don't expect to find much. There it is. It is uh, the grade tilts in both ways toward there. I'm sure it's always swampy. 
Got some oak trees here. I had wanted to use this detector on them, but it's so, so short that I have to hunch over a little bit to get a good sweep pattern. And uh, after a while that makes my 56 year old back tired. We're getting nothing, but that's not unexpected. Okay, and I think we're almost back to the truck, so GoPro, stop video.